ever wondered how to find peace amidst all this chaos. In the whirlwind of modern life, finding that quiet sanctuary within ourselves can seem like a daunting task. Today, we're venturing into the world of introverts and their unique approach to inner tranquility. We'll explore how they navigate through the noise and unearth their secrets to maintaining serenity. So if the world's chaos often feels overwhelming, we've got just the remedy for you. Stay tuned to discover three practical tips for finding inner peace. Introverts, often misunderstood, have a unique way of finding tranquility. They navigate the world a little differently, often favoring quiet contemplation over social interaction. This doesn't mean they're antisocial. Rather, they recharge during these moments of solitude. It's within these peaceful intervals that they often find their inner peace. An introvert's perspective is deeply influenced by their introspective nature. They tend to reflect, ponder, and explore the depths of their thoughts and feelings. This inward focus allows them to understand themselves better, aiding in their quest for tranquility amidst chaos. Introverts are also known for their keen observation skills, finding beauty and peace in details that others might overlook. This attention to detail, combined with their introspective nature, often translates into a rich inner world, a sanctuary where they find respite from external noise. Now, let's dive into the practical tips inspired by the introvert's approach. Embrace solitude, not as a punishment, but as a refuge. Solitude, a word that often carries with it a sense of dread or loneliness, but that's a misconception we need to clear up. Solitude isn't about loneliness. It's about spending time with the most important person in your life, you. Imagine a world where the constant hum of life's distractions fades into the background and you're left alone with your thoughts. This is the power of solitude. It's not a punishment or a prison. It's a sanctuary, a place where you can reconnect with yourself away from the demands of the outside world. Think of it as a journey, a voyage into the depths of your mind. Here you can explore your thoughts, emotions, and dreams without interruptions. You get to know yourself on a profound level, understand your desires and fears, and discover your true self. In solitude, you're not running away from the world, you're diving deeper into your own. You're giving yourself the time and space to reflect, rejuvenate, and to grow. Solitude is the cocoon that allows us to transform, to evolve into the best versions of ourselves. But how can we embrace solitude in our daily lives? It's simpler than you might think. Start by setting aside a few minutes each day, just for yourself. This could be early in the morning, before the world wakes up, or late at night, when the world has gone to sleep. During this time, disconnect from the digital world. Put away your phone, turn off your computer, and just be. You can use this time to meditate, read, write, or even just sit in silence. The goal isn't to do something productive. It's to be present with yourself, to listen to your thoughts, to feel your emotions, to be at peace with who you are. Remember, solitude isn't about isolation. It's about self-discovery. It's about taking the time to nurture your inner self. It's about finding peace in your own company. It's about cherishing the silence and using it as a tool to understand yourself better. So don't fear solitude. Embrace it. Cherish it. Because in solitude, you'll find a friend, a confidant, a mentor, and a guide. You'll find you. Solitude is not a state of loneliness, but a state of being at peace with oneself. Reflection is the mirror of our thoughts. It's in the quiet, uncluttered moments of our day, when we allow our minds to wander, that we truly connect with our inner selves. This is the essence of mindful reflection, our second tip for finding inner peace. Mindful reflection isn't about emptying your mind or achieving a state of perfect calm. Instead, it's about turning your attention inward, observing your thoughts and emotions without judgment. It's about gently acknowledging what you're feeling and why. Are you anxious? Excited? Sad? Joyful? By naming these emotions, you give them space to exist. You validate your own experiences. Imagine you're an impartial observer of your own mind, watching your thoughts as they flutter by like leaves on a stream. Some of these thoughts might be pleasant, others not so much. But remember, you're simply observing. There's no need to latch onto any specific thought or let it sweep you away. Now, you may ask, how does this lead to inner peace? Well, the beauty of mindful reflection lies in its simplicity. By becoming a conscious observer of your own thoughts, you take a step back from the chaos of the world around you. You start to realize that you are not your thoughts or emotions. They are just temporary visitors coming and going. When you practice mindful reflection regularly, it becomes easier to navigate your emotional landscape. You start to notice patterns, triggers, and responses. 
you become more aware of your inner world and in turn gain a deeper understanding of yourself. This self-awareness is the first step towards inner peace. Mindful reflection can be practiced anywhere, anytime. You don't need any special equipment or a specific set of circumstances. All you need is you, your thoughts, and a few quiet moments. So take a moment today, sit quietly, and turn your attention inward. Listen to your thoughts, observe your emotions, allow yourself to just be. You might be surprised by what you discover. Remember, mindful reflection is a journey inward, a path to understanding oneself better. Ever thought of creating a peaceful sanctuary in your daily life? This question may sound a bit dreamy, but it's actually a practical step towards achieving inner peace. It's our third tip, and it's all about building a nest, a haven of tranquility within your everyday life. Creating a peaceful sanctuary doesn't necessarily mean constructing a physical space. It's more about carving out a mental and emotional space that allows you to disconnect from the outside noise and connect with your inner self. This sanctuary is a place where you can breathe, reflect, and simply be away from the hustle and bustle of life. Think of it as your personal retreat, your fortress against the chaos of the world. It's a space where you can let your guard down and recenter yourself. It's a place where you can feel safe, comfortable and serenely at peace it's where you can recharge your emotional and mental batteries refocus your thoughts and regain your balance so how do you create this peaceful sanctuary well it's really about what works best for you it could be as simple as setting aside 10 minutes each day for quiet reflection or it might involve a more structured routine like meditating or practicing mindfulness perhaps your sanctuary is a cozy corner of your home where you can curl up with a good book and a cup of tea or maybe it's a quiet walk in the park, where you can enjoy the beauty of nature and the calming influence of the outdoors. The key is to make this sanctuary a regular part of your routine. Make it a priority. Treat it as a necessary act of self-care, not a luxury. Remember, it's not about escaping from the world, but rather creating a space within the world where you can reconnect with your inner self, regain your equilibrium, and find tranquility amid chaos. In essence, your peaceful sanctuary is a testament to the power of introverted wisdom. It's a place where you can embrace solitude, practice mindful reflection, and cultivate inner peace. Your sanctuary is your fortress, a place where you can retreat and find peace. So, start today. Create your peaceful sanctuary, embrace the quiet, and discover the joy of finding inner peace in a chaotic world. These three practical tips are not standalone solutions, they are parts of a whole. They intertwine to form a holistic approach to achieving inner peace amidst the chaos that surrounds us. Let's imagine this. The power of solitude gives you the space to breathe and to be truly with yourself without the distractions and pressures of the world outside. This solitude, in turn, sets the stage for mindful reflection. Here, you're not just alone, but you're also actively engaging with your thoughts and emotions, unearthing insights about yourself and your place in the world. Now, Imagine taking these insights and using them to create your peaceful sanctuary. This isn't just a physical space. It's a mental and emotional haven where you feel safe and serene. It's a place where you can retreat to whenever the world becomes too overwhelming, a place that's uniquely yours. When you combine the power of solitude, mindful reflection, and creating a peaceful sanctuary, you equip yourself with the tools to find tranquility in a bustling world each tip feeds into and enhances the other, creating a cycle of peace that can weather the storm of chaos. But remember, this isn't an overnight transformation. It's a process, a daily commitment to nurturing your inner peace. It's about recognizing that tranquility isn't a state to be achieved, but a way of life to be cultivated. Finding inner peace is a journey, not a destination. We have journeyed through the chaos to find the tranquility within. We've discovered that the introvert's approach to peace is not about escaping the world, but about engaging with it on our own terms. We've learned that the power of solitude can recharge our minds, providing a wellspring of creativity and self-discovery. We've seen how mindful reflection, when practiced regularly, allows us to connect with our deepest thoughts and emotions, giving us a clearer understanding of our own needs. And lastly, we've learned the importance of creating a peaceful sanctuary in our daily lives, a place where we can retreat and find solace amid the noise. These three tips, when combined, can help us navigate the chaotic world with a sense of balance and tranquility. They remind us that it's possible to find peace in the midst of chaos. Start your journey towards inner peace today. Remember, 
the peace you seek is within you. Thank you for watching our guide on finding inner peace. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with others. This not only helps us reach more people who may be struggling with their own peace, but also enables you to become part of a community that values solitude and self-discovery. Your support helps us create more content like this, content that helps you navigate the chaotic world with a sense of balance and tranquility. Remember, the peace you seek is within you. Start your journey today and let's walk this path together. We appreciate your support and look forward to providing more resources that cater to your needs. In the comments section below, let us know how these tips have helped you or if there's any specific topic you'd like us to cover in future videos. Let's continue this journey together, one mindful step at a time.